For me, the predator-free movement is an opportunity to regain uh, our relationship with our environment and recognising its uh, significance to sustain human life. Um, for so long, the whenua is given to us. It's time that we recognise that in order to be sustainable for the future, we need to give back to the whenua, uh, the awa and the moana. So working here for the last 13 years has given me a real insight at what predator-free New Zealand can be like, with kaka and kiwi and takahi running around. So it's really nice to know that there's organisations like High Country Contracting on the outside doing their bit for predator-free New Zealand. Even before working for HEC, I've spent a lot of time exploring New Zealand's wilderness. You know, the guys that are working for HCC actually want to make a difference and are passionate about what we're doing. They're spending their time in the hills or in the sea or down the rivers you know, every weekend. The benefits show for themselves in places where a lot of intensive pest control takes place and you go into those areas and there's like birds singing everywhere and the bushes you know, re regenerating. Um, it's just having the right people out there to enjoy it as well. So I do believe that we can do this. I've grown up on this farm and uh, yeah, we pride ourselves on looking after the environment and yeah, it's a place we call home. We live in a unique place here with uh, valleys of native bush raining down to the coastline. The local community and farmers have been doing a great job in fencing off areas and letting them regenerate. That was the easy part, now we need to keep the pests out. I think we realise now as a nation that something needs to be done and something needs to be done urgently. Um, We've got some of these birds now in, in dire need and if nothing's done now uh, then we're going to lose them and we'll lose them forever. Um, and that's just something us as a nation we need to stand up and, and we need to protect these birds, um, remove these pests and look after our native species. We really need to think about our future generations here. If nothing is done now then our kids are going to grow up and they're not going to be able to experience these, uh, these native species um, like we are today. Ko te tino kaupapa kai roto i au, te aki whenu, te aki tāi au, te aki takapa. Nā reira, nā nei tōku wero i a koutou, a hakoa he aha. Ko tāi mai te wā, ka whakakapakari, whakanuia, whakatiaki tō tātou nei tāi au. E mihi ana.